Guys and girls, it's just Jungum here, ladies and gentlemen. I did a video before talking about GTA Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, and San Andreas. I'm sure a lot of us are happy all these three games are coming out again. Even though you can get this game on the PS4, this game on the PS4, uh, this game on the PS4, this game on the PS3, this game on the PS3, this game on the PS3 as well, uh, this game on the PS2, this game on the PS2. This game on the PS2. And plus, now they're coming back on PS4 disc, PS4 disc, PS4 disc. And PS5 disc, PS5, PS... Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch. Probably mobile. I don't know. I'm just doing it like this so you can get a rough idea. Um, if they've all done all these games, which they've done, great. Uh, they used the Red Dead Redemption 2 engine on Vice City GTA 3 in San Andreas. Uh, why don't they use that engine from Red Dead Redemption 2 onto GTA 5 in graphics and enhanced edition on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X? Is that why they pushed it back to push uh, Vice City GTA 3 and San Andreas out? If they've made all these games, why can't they remaster GTA 4 and put that engine on there as well? Most people want GTA 4. Uh, what about Liberty City stories and Vice City stories? Are they going to remaster them as well? I don't think they're going to. Even though Vice City stories look the same as Vice City, but a different character. Lance Vance is in Vice City stories. Tommy Pursuit is in G GTA Vice City. Clyde's in GTA 3. In San Andreas, you got Carl Johnson. In GTA 5, you got Michael, Trevor and Franklin. And Liberty City, you got that Tony guy, I think. Um... Red the Redemption, you got Arthur, Morgan, um, a lot of games in there. But anyway, wouldn't it have been a good idea if they put multiplayer into this game on Vice City, San Andreas, and GTA 3? They could have done that, couldn't they? They could have put properties online on Vice City, GTA, San Andreas, and GTA 3, but they're not going to do it. What's the point of charging so much for a game like this? Loads of people will buy it and think, oh, it's GTA again, they've never played it before. Loads of people have played this game before and they probably want to see the new graphics. That's good, that's good, great and dandy, as one would say. But why can't you put multiplayer in these three games so people can actually play online? Because you can go into multiplayer in these games on the PC, on mods. Wouldn't it be good if you could actually just put that on there? Properties to buy online on all these three games. You, you know, some people are probably not bothered about what I'm saying about this. Some people just take it how it is and say... They didn't expect to remaster these games. Is that why they pushed GTA 5 back in graphics and enhanced to March 2022? Even though GTA 5 graphics and enhanced was supposed to be coming out in November um, 2021. So these games will be out soon, 11th of November. Uh, 6th of De is it just December, I don't know. Uh, first platforms on the PS4 and Xbox One PC. Then PS5, Xbox One. I don't know when they bring them on them. Mobile platform Switch, I don't know. Like I say, uh, graphics do look good. They could have at least put new missions on these three games, but they're old. You know what I mean? Will they update these games as time goes on? Probably not. So you see where my point's coming from. They could at least put multiplayer on these games. I can't say it enough. Some of you guys and girls, probably, ladies and gentlemen, don't, probably don't want multiplayer in these three games. Some of you probably do. I know they're old games, but they could have done that. Will they bring out a Warriors 2 game? Will they bring out an LA Noir 2? A Max Payne game? Uh, Manhunt games are very good for the times. Um, you know, all these games. Even the Agent game that they backdated and didn't bring out. But anyway, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Do you think I'm right or wrong? They should put multiplayer in these games? Is it too late and I don't want to? We just have to see what GTA 5 and graphics and enhanced edition, edition are look like in 2022 on the PS5 and Xbox um, Series X. You know. Anyway, I better go. Thank you for joining me. Peace.